The story of one whale in particular, named Keiko, stirred our passion and raised enduring questions about captivity. Keiko was captured in 1979 in Iceland and became one of the 136 orcas taken into captivity since 1961. But he did not become one of the more than 100 that have died there, or one of the 42 killer whales that remain in captivity. Captured at age two and eventually sent to Mexico City, Keiko was breathing the world's smoggiest air, a master of the ocean at 7,000 feet above sea level, in the artificial seawater of a shallow pool where he entertained the crowds. Keiko would have lived his life in poor health, swimming in circles except for one thing. He became a movie star. As Willie, he was free to 10 million film-going children. But in reality, Keiko went nowhere. The stress of his environment caused a skin disease, which spread as his health seriously deteriorated. The real whale was slowly dying, and Keiko had to be moved. When it was learned that Keiko was still captive, millions of children wrote in, demanding his freedom, and a spontaneous movement was started to free the sick whale. Keiko's owners donated him for the unprecedented experiment of reintroducing him into the wild. And the Oregon Coast Aquarium customized a pool for his care. Suddenly, the reality of freeing Keiko became far more interesting than the movie as Keiko began a long and complicated journey toward freedom. Mm -hmm.